All right, so we're back now in Richmond, um, on from Iowa, and for my video blog this week, we're going to interview Martin Parra, who is uh, who's my race engineer. Obviously, we've got a big team of engineers, but Martin kind of leads the group. Um, he came over from our t or from AGR last year, worked with Danica, and with us this year. But I guess my first question has to be, how'd you get your start in racing, and why'd you choose racing? Um, French Canadian, obviously, everybody's uh, well. Most race uh, anybody that follows racing, there's uh, Gilles Villeneuve is a big uh, influence. So obviously, grew up following him and uh, was a big influence. And uh, then uh, I was always uh, had the bug of uh, racing since uh, you know, as far as I can remember, but drawing cars and things like that. And then uh, when the uh, opportunity came in uh, the university, then I went to a racing school and then uh, got involved in racing since then. And what do you, uh, you engineered both in kart and now, or, and then in IndyCar and then now as a unified series. So what do you think of that? And then what do you think the challenges that a team like ours that has transitioned, what kind of challenges do we face compared to the others? Well, the unification is, I think, is fantastic for sure for open wheel racing in North America. Um, as far as the challenge facing a transition team, um, it's huge. Uh, the the IRL, you know, with the uh, most of the team, been working on with the same cars for you know three, four, five years. The uh, it's the detail and the attention to detail on every aspect, whether car preparation, the car setup, and uh, all the, that level is at a, such a high level that it's uh, it's a lot of ground to cover in a short amount of time. And what what challenges do you face? Because as a spec series, as an engineer, and and also from my perspective, trying to get as much as we can as a team out of Dallara, Honda, Firestone, and so on. What kind of challenges do you face in working with their engineers to make that happen? Um, relationship with all those uh, those uh, suppliers is uh, excellent, actually. Um, it's it's on our side, really, to, um, like I was saying, optimize every aspect of uh, of uh, using their product, whether it's the on the engine side, making sure it's you no know, at the right temperature all the time, and then the tires you have the pressure they want, and or they feel they work better, and so it's all it all very very much so a um, detail uh, detail uh, game there. And this year, obviously, you came over to our team from AGR. Um, what what kind of inf influence you to do that? I mean, I think. Because as, as an engineer who accomplished quite a lot in that team and as a team that was so dominant in the sport for so long, to come to kind of a new team, um, what was the biggest thing that made you want to do that? Well, Newman S. Uh, Lanigan uh, has uh, is got one of the uh, foremost uh, pedigree in terms of you know, winning championship and working with uh, you know, uh, first, first uh, 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 um, yeah, in terms of winning championship, and uh, uh, always know the drive to win is uh, is the second to none, uh, or same uh, for sure in par with all the, the big team that I've worked with. So, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, I think it's fantastic uh, opportunity to uh, keep going. What um, I guess you and I both know this, but for the fans, how much preparation goes into each race on your side, and how far ahead do we start looking at you know every every single venue that we'll go to? Well, thinking about the fact that we have a, a crew of people uh, building cars, uh, trying uh, to rotate. You no, know, each, each of us, uh, you, know, you and Robert, have two cars, so uh, we're looking at um, events um, once the season start uh, a month in, a, in advance, four weeks, to make sure that everything you know gets at the right, get done at the right time at the right place. And, and I guess the last question has to be. And I, and I hope the answer doesn't come up that I think, but <laughs> what's been the highlight of your career so far? Well, uh, I know it's the poll at St. Pete in Kansas. Well, that, that, those are <laughs> definitely highlights, that's for sure. But, uh, I mean, there, there, there's there's been a few. Uh, uh, I mean, the very first season winning a championship against Jacques Villeneuve, no son of Gilles, was, you know, for me, French-Canadian, is obviously, you know, quite a quite a, 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 a trail. It was in Atlantic. Um, no, it's a great, great weekend with uh, Brian Erta and uh, Michigan. Uh, I mean, our polls this year for sure, and 
Dan something Kevin. happened last year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. No, that was also quite quite good. All right, guys. Well, there you have it, Martin Pare. And I hope that uh, that our team can kind of get things turned around this weekend and try to put the McDonald's car up front.